I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, for Valentine's Day, I really love um, using pinks, so I am going to create uh, a pink background here. I'm going to use, uh, I've got one of these scrapers. Um, you could also use a palette knife. Good morning, Angela. How are you? So I'm going to get some pink and white and then a little bit of gold. And that's how I'm going to create my background. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is put a lot of this. I should have just put it right on here. pink and white, and I'm going to kind of just spread this around. Next. <sighs> Good morning, Anne. Glad you guys could hop on today. Let's see. I think this is very light. I'm going to add a smidge of color to this as well. A smidge more of this darker pink. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm creating this pink background. I've got this catalyst scraper, which I love, but you could use a credit card or a palette knife, whatever you've got. I really love how that turned out. And I'm just going to add a bit of this gold in there as well. Because I love sparkle. All right, so that was super easy. It was just a bunch of scraping. Thank you, Anne. Thank you. I love making backgrounds. Sometimes I like backgrounds more than I like the pieces. Um, but yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna dry this. I'll remove. Let's see. I'll remove this video so you can see what I'm trying to take inspiration from as I dry this, and then I'll be back in just a second.
All right, this is not completely dry, but it's dry enough that I can work with it without making a huge mess. Oh, thank you, Leah. I love, I have an addiction to all things sparkly and shiny. So um, I have to throw some, some metallic or glitter or something like that in almost everything I do. Um, all right, so now I need to make some wings and I'm just kind of sorting through some scrap pages. Um, this is kind of a fun piece of scrapbook paper I have. I'm um, just looking for something with some words or texture that I could make two wings out of. Music pages are great for this. Book pages are great for this. I just have a big old bag of scraps that I like to sort through. That would be a really cool page, except I've already cut out the back. That's kind of a bummer. I don't know that that's big enough. That would be kind of fun for Valentine's Day. I don't know. I think I'm feeling that. That's kind of bright and bold and crazy, so it might might be a little ridiculous, but I am going to go for it. Since we're making hearts, I think this will work well. So let's see if I can get to... I'll have to have two slim wings, but I think I can do it. All right, so I fold it in half so that my wings are going to be the same. And there's really no right or wrong way to make a wing. I think today I, I maybe I'm going to go kind of uh, butterfly-esque. So I just kind of sketch it out on the reverse so that when I cut it, you're not going to see it. All right, so here are my two wings. I need to get some matte medium to glue these babies on. So this is matte gel medium. They make liquid matte medium as well. Um, whatever your preference is, but I am just going to for now, I'm just going to add it to the paper since my background is still kind of wet here. And let's see. And matte medium is really just acrylic paint with no pigment. So the wet paint on my piece um, actually doesn't hurt anything because it's the it's the same polymer. It's the same um, chemical makeup. It just doesn't have pigment to it, so it will help it stick. And then later, when it's dry, I will add a coat over the top.
Oh, I actually think I should probably move this over just a smidge. I think it's too late. That's all right. We'll work with it. Bob Ross says, happy accidents. We will figure it out. All right. I think I'm going to tone down these wings just a little bit. So I'm going to grab a scrapey palette knife. I'm just going to scrape a little bit of this pink on there. Maybe some of the gold from the background just to... It's not going to tone it down much, but I do want to blend this red into the same tone family a little bit. And of course, got to add some gold, right? Um, the next part that I'm going to do is the dress. So I'm just going to use some white, get that out there. And this is where it's really going to point out the mistake I made with the wings, but we will, we'll figure it out. All right. So let's see. I want her body to start like right here. Um, the body for my angels, I make, it's super easy. So we make a heart and that's kind of like the shoulders. The shoulders and then her arms. Again, I am just going to mix in some gold, just hints, so that it's not completely white. All right, so that's kind of her upper torso, and then I'm going to create the dress which just comes down. So that's super easy. And again, I just fill it with white. If it picks up some of that background color, that's okay. It won't pick up too much because most of it is dry. just like the top, I'm just going to mix in a smidge of gold here and there. So the fun thing that's kind of happening here, 
Um, I don't know that it's showing too much on camera. So I'm using an old dirty palette and um, I had some watercolor on here. And so I'm getting kind of these random little bits of color, um, of colors I'm not even using. So like there's just like a weird hint of green and purple and I don't know. It's kind of fun. I didn't plan that out, but I like when stuff like that happens. It just... It adds a lot of um, adds a lot of fun. All right, so now I need to make. So I've got the angel wings. I've got her face. Skin tones are difficult to mix, so I'm just going to kind of go with a buttermilk color here. And so she needs a neck. So I just draw a little neck here. And then just a round circle for the head and some of this gets covered with hair so again we're not going for perfection this is a very abstract piece And I'll do some brown for her hair. And really, for the most part, I'm not even washing my brush. I'm just kind of, I throw it in the water so it doesn't get hard, but I'm really just kind of wiping it off. So I'll give her a little ponytail in the back and then we'll just kind of give her some hair there it's picking up some of that buttermilk color which adds a little fun in the hair maybe i'll throw in a whisper or two of gold And I'm not going to um, paint in a face. I like it without a face. I think it's pretty that way. And now I'm going back to my bag of goodies to find a piece of red scrap to make the heart. Ooh, I have a piece of gold. I'm going to scrap the red and I'm going to go with gold. I love that. Okay. So I just fold it in half to cut out my heart. Ugh. It's a little goofy. There, okay. Love it. All right, again with the gel medium. I'm just going to put it right on the back. Since my paint's wet, I don't want to put it on the, I don't want to add a top layer yet. And then just kind of center it.
All right, and she had some roses in her hair. So, let's see. I'll get some green. There's some greenery. Maybe some red. And I'm just going to make some abstracts. Really, they're just... Um, What's the word I'm thinking of? Spiral roses. So the first thing I am going to do is just kind of, I'm going to use this green to place them on her head. With some... some green there so I know where I am working. And let's see. Do red here. Red here. And then I'll do a fuchsia in the middle. And then all I do to make this look like a rose is I'm going to dip into a lighter color and then just kind of swirl some in, working in a spiral pattern gives it that rose look. Now that I've got those in, I can add a leaf or two. that's pretty much it at this point. Um, I think I'm going to use, um, if you know me, you know, I'm crazy about these Stabilo all pencils. So, um, the final step for me, I'm just going to add an outline to the wings and an outline to the heart, but I do need this to be completely dry. So, um, those are the basic steps. Thank you so much for hopping on and joining. I encourage you to give it a try because um, I love these little angels. Uh, the fun thing about the angels is you can really customize them for anything. You could change the heart to a rose. You could add a Christmas wreath. You could add a candy cane. You could, um, you know, change up the colors and she could be holding a pumpkin. Uh, it could really be anything. So give it a try. Definitely share with me. Um, you can always tag at Painted Cicada. Um, I would love to see it. Uh, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dry this, I'm going to add some outlines, and I will definitely share my finished piece on my page on Facebook, um, but I'm going to end up in the live um, since that's all of the steps. So uh, again.